Hello guys, this is Renich from Cloud Sigma. I'm going to show you how to uh, use systemd's slices to uh, control some of the resources used in your system. Uh, I'm going to connect to my demo server first. And uh, well, the server is a big server. I'm going to show you the CPUs here. It has 12 cores and well, some RAM and stuff. There's nothing on this server. It's a virtual server on, on our infrastructure. And uh, I'm gonna, I've created a test user. So Blagovart, the infamous, an infamous or whatever. Okay. So Blagovart is in the mood to mine some Litecoin today. So he's gonna start right now. And he's gonna use my user and password and all, but anyway. Uh, I'm going to use this command and voila, he started mining. So he's using all the CPU in the server and we can't do anything about it. Oh wait, but we can. Uh, so I'm going to start a screen session here to show you in real time what happens. And uh, basically I'm going to start an H top here. Then I'm going to split this thing. And then I'm gonna create a new window. Oh, so uh, we want to find out who is doing this, right? So we have Blackboard here. So now we need to get an idea of what the C group slices look like. So system D, CGLS. And there we go. We have his slice, which is user dash a thousand and one dot slice. And we have his scope, which is this session right here. So uh, for now, we want to limit the scope. We're going to do, we're going to use the runtime flag uh, to make these changes volatile. Uh, in any case, uh, we can apply the same settings without the runtime flag to the, sl to the slice. And those settings are going to be permanent for him, as long as he doesn't change his UUID, right? User ID. Anyway, so uh, let's try and apply those settings to it. System CTL set property, and then uh, which property am I? Oh, the runtime flag, runtime. And now we're going to set CPU quota to ten percent. He's gonna hate us, but anyway. Um, and we're going to paste the slice number. Oh, not the slice number, sorry, the session number. Session, what was it? 12, 10? Session, I don't remember. Let's do system D, CDLS again. Yeah, session 13. Okay. So it's 13 dot scope and uh, we'll apply this oh again we need to the the right order we need to give the settings in the right order so it's uh, session dash 13 dot scope there we go 10 percent and voila there's one thing though here we we've Sign 10% of a CPU of a single core and it goes global. So this is why he has less than 1% available in every core. Let's give him a bit more. Let's give him uh, a whole CPU worth of processing power. And he's going to get, well, he's going to get 10% 10, uh, 10 of all the available power. So less than 10% actually, because we have 12 cores. So that's cool for him. If we're in a good mood, we can give him 300%. Uh, and the changes all apply live. Okay, well, maybe 400. So we have 33.3%. Oh, 300 again. Okay. By 400. He's going to get 33.3% on all cores. 
more or less. So if we're not in a good mood, we go back to 10%. Again, you get the idea. He's going to be suffering from us. And his process keeps on going. It just changes the amount of CPU uh, time he gets. So he's not going to use that much, or not time but quota. So he's not going to get that much CPU, right? If we wanted to make these changes permanent, we just remove the, the runtime flag. And we don't want to apply it to the scope because the scope won't uh, hold uh, for long. As long as he logs out, as soon as he logs out, it's, he's done. So we have to apply it to user-1001 a slice and let's give him 100%. We're not, we're not that bad. Okay. Okay. This will create uh, some files. Let's see. System D. System D. System user blah blah blah. That's the file it created. So if we want to remove the settings, we can just pass an empty value, this, and the settings are removed. The file isn't removed, just the settings. So let's let's see what happens if we if we cat that. It has maximum value. Okay. Uh, we can just delete the file as well. We'll just leave them with 100 percent So that applies 100 percent to him. And when we reboot, the settings are, you know, permanent. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope it helps you. And don't be so bad with your users. I mean, give him enough CPU. <laughs> and study system D slices a bit. You're going to like them a lot. Thank you.